Kia ora Year 12 and 13, here's the second half of Question 2 from last year's differentiation exam. This is a merit question, although you may feel reading it that it's harder than typical merit questions. Once you see what to do, it's really quite straightforward, but it just takes a, a very good careful read to see that. So what we're looking for here is to find the coordinates of the point somewhere on this curve, y is equal to root x, right? So that's this one here, y is equal to root x, and we want to find the distance between a point on that curve and 4, 0. And we want to have that point be the one where the distance is minimised. So we're looking for this distance here, which I'm going to call h, um, to be as low as possible. So let's think back to what we know about how to find the distance between two points. So if I've got a point here and a point here, then I join them up and I form a little right angle triangle. And on the next slide, I've set some things up so that we can see our Pythagoras situation with a little triangle. Okay, so my triangle is going to be here for any point on the curve. Okay, so I've done the setup here to speed us up a wee bit. Um, this point here, this one here, is the point four zero. This is my other point, this is on the curve, which means we know that its coordinates are x and root x. So the coordinates here are x and 4. This horizontal distance is 4 minus x. The vertical distance here is going to be, um, sorry, this is not x and 4, this is x and 0. The vertical distance here will be root x. So what I've done here is I've applied Pythagoras. Pythagoras tells me that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. We're trying to minimize h, right? So we're trying to minimize this distance here between the point on the curve and 4, 0. So we can write that h squared is equal to the horizontal distance squared plus the vertical height squared, the vertical perpendicular height h will be the square root of that, and we'll take it from there. So um, expanding out the brackets is going to give me 16 minus 8x plus x squared plus x to the power of a half. Now notice that that x is coming from squaring root x. So cleaning that up, what do we get? Well, we get 16 minus 7x plus 2x to the power of one half. Now the next step is to figure out where is that h going to be minimized. To find a minimum we differentiate and set the derivative equal to zero. Okay so this is what we've got. h is equal to 16 minus 7x plus x squared to the power of a half dh by dx is equal to one half times all of that. Now this is looking awful, but it's really not awful. We're nearly there. So that's to the power of negative a half. But because of the chain rule in here, we've got negative seven plus two x. And that is going to equal zero for a maximum. So what do I have? Well, after all that, I've got 2x minus 7 over 2 root all of this. That's equal to 0, which gives me 2x minus 7 equals 0. Um, I'm multiplying through by this. Giving me x is equal to 7 over 2 which is 3.5, okay? And we didn't need to show that we'd found a minimum, which is all good, but we do need to find the coordinates of the point on the curve. So let's just go back. Here's my curve. Um, here's 4, 0. And we've found our point here. So if x is equal to 3.5, what's y? Well, y is going to equal root 3.5. Um, which is, I think, about 1.87. So the final answer is the point is 3.5 root 3.5.
3.5 or 3.5 1.87. So there you go. Now there's a second way of doing it, and that involves knowing that the shortest distance from a point to a curve is where the line is perpendicular, like this. Okay, so you could do it that way, but if you want to play around with that, um, send me an email and I can check that you've got it right. I don't want to use another five minutes in the video on that method. This one, using Pythagoras, is the most obvious way to do it. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the excellence question. Right, so what we've got here is a rectangle included, inscribed in a semicircle of radius r, shown below. And what we have to do is to show that the maximum possible area of that rectangle occurs when x is equal to r on root 2. And again, we don't need to prove that we found a maximum. So have a look at that and try and work out the dimensions of the rectangle first. Right, so this is my rectangle in here. The area of a rectangle is the length times the width. The key thing to think about is um, it's pretty easy to get the width. What am I going to do to get the height? So for that, we need to use the fact that this point will be on the semicircle. OK, so here are some steps that I thought might help. The first thing we're going to think about is what is the equation of a semicircle. Well, what we'll start with is the equation of a circle. Right? So the equation of a circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Um, that gives me the equation of the whole circle, and we're just interested in the positive half. Okay, so we can rewrite that. Let's write it first of all with y squared. So y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared. But we just want y. So if we're doing the whole circle, we'll have y is equal to plus or minus r squared minus x squared. But we're just interested in the top half of the semicircle. So that's good. We've got y is equal to this, r squared minus x squared. And I'm going to write that as r squared minus x squared to the power of a half. Now we should be feeling pretty happy about that because we've now got an expression for the height of the rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is going to be a is equal to, hmm, well my width is not x, it's going to be 2x. So the area of the rectangle is, I don't know, height times base I suppose. So the base or the width is 2x times the height. Now the height comes straight from here. Right, so it's 2x times r squared minus x squared to the power of 1 half. We now need to maximise that area. So we're going to differentiate it. Hopefully we've got enough room here. So dA by dx is going to need me to use the product rule. So it's going to be the first term, 2x times the derivative of the second. So half r squared minus x squared to the negative of a half. It is an excellence question, so you've got to expect a bit of hard work. Times negative 2x. So the negative 2x is coming from the chain rule, um, and that's the first part of my product rule. Don't forget to do the second half. So it's going to be plus the second expression, r squared minus x squared to the half times 2. And we need all of that to be 0 for a maximum. So on the next slide, that's what I have to clean up. Okay, So we're going to clean that up and uh, solve it. And we need to be looking back to see what we're trying to show. 